rain. When I was little, Daddy took me in the car to play in the park. The car was very dirty. We'll have to take it to the car wash, said Dad. Willie came too. That's a good tag and you get. I'd never been to a car wash before. There you go. Thank you very much. Daddy right, made sure all the windows were closed. Right, that's us. Daddy drove into a big box machine with giant brushes. Suddenly, the brushes came towards us. I don't want to go in. I don't like this, I said. I think the cars get this hair washed. Cheer up, Seg, said Dad. It's like the car's having a hair wash. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber. Three rubber dubber. Four rubber dubber. Daddy was right. It was like a big hair wash with your eyes open. The windows are open. The big brushes word and rubber dubber the car. Five rubber dubber. Six rubber dubber. And swoosh. The machine. Wash the shampoo off. Here comes the big hair dryer. A giant hair dryer dried the car all over. Daddy drove the car out of the car wash. The car looked all shiny and new. Daddy was so pleased. On the way to the park, it started to rain. Oh no, it's raining. At the park, we splashed through a puddle. Daddy wasn't pleased. Oh no, look at my car! The car wasn't shiny. Daddy was grumpy. Daddy and me ran to a cafe out of the rain. We'll just uh, wait here till the rain stops, OK? But Daddy was grumpy. Daddy just sat. He didn't even get me a drink. I drew a picture. Daddy was making me grumpy too. Hey Tig, no need to be grumpy too. Daddy's just fed up, that's all. Daddy had a nice clean car and now it's all dirty again. Things didn't go quite how he wanted them to go. It rained, deary me. Daddy needs cheering up like he cheered you up in the car wash. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber. Daddy's fed up with the rain, so show Daddy how rain can be fun. Jumping puddles. Whee! Twirling umbrellas, catching raindrops, and listening to the rubber dub dub sound of the rain on the roof. Go for it, Tig. Give Daddy a big smile. Yes, I thought. I'll cheer Daddy up. Wow. That is brilliant. Well done. Come on. Doesn't look as if the rain's going to stop. Come on, then. I'll show Daddy how to have fun in the rain. Oh, no. We jumped in puddles. We twirled our umbrellas. <laughs> we caught raindrops. Whoa, the rain. Come here. Quick, tag! We listened to the rubber dubber dubber of the rain on the roof. Whoa! It's a puddle monster! When Daddy saw Willie in a puddle, puddle he said, Ah! It's only my toy spider! It's only my toy spider, I said. Whoa, did you hear it? Look! Whoa. I like fun in the rain. I like to see my Daddy happy. Your hand out like that. I love Willie. Woohoo! We've been guessing. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. Sit in your seat and you'll get a really good view. Yeah. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. Does he really like chocolate? The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Yeah. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. 
I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold on to the trolley. <laughs> Can you manage? I help Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tig. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We were just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tig! And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got a little spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Cross. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to what another road, there was no doing? green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, okay, said Miss Claire. There. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. Right, On the way back, we 
He crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Get up. Take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Take. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy picked me Come up and carried me straight Let's across the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a Don't book, choose said book. Daddy. No. No, I said okay. and Why sat with sit Willie. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! And say sorry to Daddy. Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willie. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willie. We've been together since we were here. First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. Mm. Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. 
Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Check. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Check is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willie!